In this video trailer, we're going to answer the commonly asked question, can you replicate day trading patterns on a longer time frame for swing traders? Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm well, welcome to you. So many people ask this question. It's a fair question, right? The question is, okay, I've got this day trading pattern and it looks good. And I hear day trader talking about it. Maybe you've seen it on the channel, maybe you've read it in a book, maybe whatever. And you think, okay, well, can I use that on a swing traders time frame? And the answer is that depends. And let's run through what that depends on. So if we've got a classical pattern like, let's say buying a pullback pattern and we're here in a one minute chart, pullback happens and we buy this pullback and it moves up higher. Can you extrapolate that out into a daily chart? The answer is yes. You know exactly the same kind of thing, pulling back for a few days and then going again, perhaps using the trend line as a break, however you're gonna do it. That makes sense, right? It all works well and you can understand it and the theory behind it still works. However, the big difference we've got to consider when switching time frames is that the actual chart pattern may be similar, but just think about what's happening on, say, a one minute chart. If we go one minute chart as a, compared to a one day chart or even a one hour chart or a four hour chart. The point is reach candle in one minute just means that there's a trade has been done for one minute. One minute worth of trade has happened. So if we can imagine, let me get the purple pen. If we can imagine on our one minute chart, a key level, right? And on our swing chart, a key level. If price comes down on a one minute chart and goes through the key level for a few minutes and comes back up, what difference is that compared to when we have the same thing here? The difference is guys, is that a few minutes under a key level is not so relevant, right? It doesn't really matter so much a few days under the key level all of a sudden becomes super relevant because a few days under the key level is that it's not just we've drifted under and all of a sudden you know it's popped back up again a few days under the key level is people are, is selecting and assuming that that level is a little bit more value which is why you've got to be careful if you're extrapolating this kind of thing over onto a swing traders time frame because in my opinion if you've got a few days under the key level, I'd be more inclined to think, hey, let's use the purple and get confused. I'd be more inclined to think, well, this actually might start to push lower because it's accepted that level for a longer period of time. Whereas on the one minute chart, it's three or four minutes under that key level. That's just noise basically. And I know that there's, we, you've got to put it into, into context of what we're looking at, but it's a little bit more different. You know, holding under a key level, I'd like to see that a little bit longer, or I'd like to play it for a little bit differently. And it means a lot more the longer it's held under this key level, right? It means a lot more. It means a lot more people, a lot more transaction have taken place. And that's the thing I think is the key to thinking about this. You think about it in terms of the number of transactions. If we've had three minutes under the low, the number of transactions, depending on what the instrument's gonna be, is gonna be on the low side. Compared to three days, when the number of transactions is gonna be on the high side. So the number of participants that have accepted that level is completely different. And so you've got to be careful when you're trading things like this, when you're trading whole candles under levels. Now wicks, of course, on a daily, on a four hourly, you don't know how long it's been. You know, a wick on a four hour could be a few minutes. That would still appear as a wick on a daily or a wick on a four hourly, right? few minutes but when you've got a whole candle under it when you've got a whole candle that has seated on a sit seated under that level and traded there for a long period of time you've got to look at it a little bit differently than you would if you've got a day trading chart so the the pullback type trade fine the fake out trade with a wick or a pin bar fine any solid candle that has gone above or below a key level be cautious don't use the same theory that you do with a day trading chart purely because it's been there longer and assume that there's a whole day there that you know I need to see a little bit more indication that that's going to be rejected rather than just fading it on a one minute and still think it's okay. For me, the zone becomes a little bit different. The trade becomes different. If I see one candle above it and close above it, on a one minute, it's irrelevant, right? A one minute candle closing below the support doesn't mean anything. A day candle closing below the support, two days closing below the support, that's a lot 
different. So you've got to think of it in terms of you know, who the participants are and be very careful about just taking one chart setup and going, right, well, that works. Obviously, it's a chart, it's a chart, it's a chart. It's going to work on a, on, a, on a four hour, it's going to work on a daily. Some do, like this kind of thing do, but some don't. So just be careful with that, specifically when you've got the whole candle above or below a key level, I think is the golden rule for it. All right, guys, that is can you replicate day trading patterns on a swing trading time frame? See you next one. Take care. Bye-bye.